Hey, Sean Jance here, and I'm going to go through a very, very slow, uh, a very good, slow, methodical think or swim training. I haven't updated this video in almost three years, and so I'm going to go through a very, very slow think or swim training. So if you're struggling, watch this, take this slow, don't skip anything, watch this. I'm going to go through this really, really slow so you can see exactly what to do. Uh, on Thinkorswim. And Thinkorswim is actually very simple. I've used almost every single charting package. This is by far the best and simplest one to use. So when you log into your Thinkorswim here, you'll usually start here on the, on the monitor tab here, okay? And so what you need to do, the first thing, is you need to go inside of our hip chat, uh, chat room, and go to the trade plans and chart links room. Inside there, every single evening, I will post the BTG Thinkorswim chart link. So this is a new new link every single evening. So what you do is go ahead, and it also gets emailed out to you as well. So go ahead and click on the, on the newest one right there. So click on that. That's going to open up uh, into a browser. So what I do is I take that link right there and I hit Control C, cat. I copy it, hit right click, copy, copy that sucker. Okay, now let's go back into Thinkorswim. Okay, now we're gonna go right here to Setup, Open Shared Item, and then go ahead and paste it right there. Control V, Control Victor. Hit Preview, and then it says BTG Thursday, uh, 1214, and then hit Open. Okay, this says the workspace has been saved from SJANCE on December 14th. Hit OK. Okay, so now we, what we need to do is we need to go back. We need to go back to Setup, and it's going to be right there, right? The, the link that we just opened is going to be from SJANCE on December 14th, and then go ahead and just click on it. And then just go ahead and says the current workspace will be reloaded. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, what this is going to do, you will see on the bottom here, this is going to start opening up three Thinkorswim tabs on your computer right there. And if you're on Mac, just hover over the Thinkorswim and then you'll be able to see these three tabs. Okay, so we'll click on the first one here. Now you have the S&P 500 with all of my support and resistance lines, right? You got the value area box and the deviations all right there. So first things first, I'm going to show you some Thinkorswim tools here. So what I do is you're going to... Um, you are going to start off, you can see how it looks like a hand right there. And so if you want to left click your mouse and then hold, you can drag here from the left to the right. Just left click the mouse um, and then hold and then you can drag from left to right. You can also go over here and then you can see how that turns into an up and down arrow. Left click and hold and then you can go from down and up to kind of make this bigger or wider. I usually like to keep it about right there as you can see, and then left click and then you can kind of hold. Now, most mouses, you can see you have a scroll in the middle of your mouse, the scroll up or down. Most mouses allow you to click that scroll. So what I do is I click the middle scroll and it opens up my toolbar right here. If you do not have a middle scroll, just go over here to drawing tools right there and then you can kind of, uh, it's the same thing. So I click right there so right there is the this is how i'm pan and then right here this right here is the pointer this is how i can zoom in so anything you want to zoom in so um let's say i want to zoom in on current price action so what i do is left click and hold and then drag over and then sorry left click and hold drag over so that'll zoom in to exactly whatever we just highlighted Right, left click and hold, zoom over. And that'll zoom in to exactly what we just got in. We zoomed in. And then you want to zoom back out, just double click anywhere in the blue. Okay, you want to zoom in, hold, drag over, hold, drag over, and then double click brings you right back out. Up here you have, you can change from different time zones. Here's a 30 minute chart. Okay, here's a one hour chart. Let's say you want to zoom in, zoom in zoom in, right click back out, okay? Very, very simple. And then if you wanna go back, just middle click, and then you can pan, okay? So you can zoom in from that one and then pan, okay? So let's say we want to use some drawing tools. Uh, just middle click the scroll, and then here we have a trend line, as you can see. So I would just go ahead and play with that. And you can go ahead and just delete that from your mouse. 
You also have some boxes here, as you can see, and then always use that pan button. So go, I always use the pan. So the pan is, will allow you to click on stuff like that, okay? And now I wanna show you uh, the next tab right here is you'll see the next tab. This has the NASDAQ 100, the slash YM, which is the Dow Jones 30, and then RTY, which is small cap 2000. Okay, so check this out. You'll notice that these obviously has three tabs. So if you wanna go ahead and zoom into the NASDAQ 100, go ahead and right click anywhere on the blue and then just maximize the cell. Now you're inside the NASDAQ cell. Let's say you wanna uh, come back out, right click, restore cell. Very, very, very simple. Right click, maximize cell. Okay, so inside of here, we can kind of start zooming in. We can zoom out, we can zoom in. You can see beautiful 80% roll to the downside, value very high, held to the tick. I mean, come on, freaking awesome, right? And then we can zoom uh, back out, uh, as you can see right here. Anytime, and then also, you can also use this if you wanna kind of make this a little bit bigger zoom into current price action right there you can make this smaller or bigger right over here another little tool or a little um, tip is right here on this tab you have these arrows this will take you right here this will take you from nasdaq to ym to rty pretty cool right so now you're back to nasdaq ym rty now you want to go back and restore the cells there's the three tabs right there pretty cool third tab this tab right here, as you can see, has two charts. This is a crude oil, which will always be default crude oil. So this tab right here can be used for any of your Forex trading or anything like that. So what you wanna do is right click, maximize the cell. Let's say you wanna start trading some Euro dollar, right? Just type in Euro dollar right there. And then of course you can kind of zoom in. As you can see, Euro dollar is oversold. I'd be looking for a buy trigger right there, right? So now you go into your Nadex, start looking for your buy trigger. You go to your one minute chart right there and then time your entry on a one minute candle higher low. So there's your, in there's your entry. You had a nice entry right there, another entry right there, another entry right there. And then you wanna zoom back out, go to a 30 minute chart. Okay, you can also move this and then go right here to pan, start zooming in, pretty, really, really cool, right? Now let's go ahead and um, we can bring this chart uh, back out. Okay, I also wanted to show you a tip. You can also double click right there where it says zero dollar, double click and it takes it back in. So you can double click takes it back in, okay? And then this chart right here, I have a longer term daily chart with analysis uh, of the S&P 500. So you can kind of see a bigger picture and I update this every single week, I update this, right? So an example, we're currently at a trend line high, that's why I, I'm actually short this right now because we're in the trend line high, so I'm short a weekly. You can kind of see we got a demand zone down here with a nice little trend line and then we got a second demand zone right here so uh, I update this and then just double click right there and it takes you right back in. So again, first tab, S&P 500. Second tab, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, RTY. Anytime you just wanna um, right click, maximize sell, you can also double click right there and it takes you back in, okay? Second tab, you, got, you can use this tab right here for anything else you wanna trade. And then this is a longer term S&P 500. So very, very simple. Play around with it and then message me or Ryan Smith if you have any questions.